drama. There's no tea with my channel. Like, I'm just doing vlogs and mukbangs. I mean, how many times are you going to beat the dead horse and say that what I'm eating is too much, it's too unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. You don't know what I'm eating the rest of the day. You're just speculating out of ignorance. Well, you're you're binge eating. And why, why is binge eating anyway used as a freaking insult? How ableist and disgusting is that? That just shows you that people, again, out of pure ignorance, like... Again, need I remind certain reactors that you didn't get to be your size from eating quinoa salads every day, all right, and not overeating. So please look at yourselves before you come for me and my mukbangs. You don't know. You don't know what I'm eating the rest of the day. It's none of your business anyways. But like, why is binge eating? Oh, she binged. It's a big deal. Why does that warrant a video from an adult woman <laughs> picking on another person for having binge eating disorder? Seriously, when, since when? If that was any other illness, it would not be made fun of like that. It wouldn't be acceptable. But because it's binge eating, you know? People are just disgusting. I'm, I'm over it. Hi, everybody. This is Life and Vibe. And today, Foodie Beauty has just released a live stream celebrating her 100K subscribers and receiving her plaque allegedly from YouTube. There's a lot of contention around that. As we all know, there is drama wherever Foodie goes. She is celebrating again. My name is Ray, otherwise known in Life and Vibe. I am a registered nurse here in the United States and I like to make videos about health in social media and use creators like Foodie as a platform to have these discussions. And boy, does she have a doozer of a health admission today. And it was one that we knew and one we had been following. And so I feel validated and vindicated today. So it's a little bit towards the end, but yeah, surprisingly, Foodie has uh, been lying to us all. What a shocker. Anyway, let's get into this video. And like I said, I think I said subscribe and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get over to Foodie. Let's not waste any more time. Let's make me small. Let's make her big. I have sped her up to 1.5, and let's get into this video. Shay, Irina, Claudia, I don't know why there's two. Hey, Joni, White Knight. <laughs> Hello, still loyalty beezer. Hi, Lisa P. I look pretty, thank you. <laughs> pretty ugly, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> you ever used to see that stupid childish insult? You look pretty, pretty ugly. Somebody said that to me a bunch of times. Oh, my lip gloss? I have lip gloss teeth. There we go. Okay. Why am I crabby? Oh, I'm in pain. What else is new? Uh-oh. Okay, so first indication, follow along the story. As we know, Foodie has been claiming to have had sciatica for an extended period of time since her arrival back in Kuwait since getting to home and back with Salau. And we have seen her have visits outside the clinics and taking supposedly vitamin B injections. Though we have seen no proof of any of these actual clinic visits or anything. She has just been telling us all this. And, and at one point got a fair amount of money on a live stream and was becoming bed bound and so forth. So let's continue just to catch everybody up on what's, what's been going on with this. Hi, Iona. I'm, I'm happy to see you guys. It is 1017 here. Desert life hangout when? When I can sit in the desert comfortably. Hey, Charles, what do you do? -y? What do you do? -y? What do you do? -y? <laughs> Hi, Lois. Oh, yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day today, huh? You're even having bangers and mash. Mm -hmm. Having bangers and getting mashed. <laughs> Jenna, you're funny. Hi, Ghostface. So, um, yeah, my leg still bothers me off and on. Right now is one of those times. Anyways, I... Okay, so she's going on about, I guess, the sciatica leg, which we have all spoken about is potentially peripheral neuropathy, that she has never received a diagnosis from anybody of having sciatica, and you can't just diagnose yourself with a sciatica because that's what you think you've got going on. I've said this multiple times, but she is obviously talking about the pain and she doesn't get out and, and, and do much. And I think most of the cooking she does, she does in a seated position as well. But keep going on about your pain today, Foodie, because great. Is that why you're in a bad mood or is it because you're trying to stir 
drama in girl world and not many people are trying to take the bait okay i'm trying for the first time so law squares this is like the best dessert ever hi gabriel and i wanted to try it before like you know just before i forget to i guess i, don't know. I keep forgetting to try it do i like the heat i hate it it makes me crabby and i'm hot right now hey babe hey thank you great just what an unmanaged type 2 diabetic needs a dessert yes allow keep encouraging her to eat a dessert after the other day in a live stream, you told her that you would not go out and do things with her until she got healthier. So which is it that you want? Do you want Chantel healthier or do you want her unhealthy and therefore unable to go out and do anything with you? I think it's the latter. Congratulations. Ava, hello, Cicely. Never have I ever. Hey, Mary M. <laughs> do I have Costco? No. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, ghost, other ghost face. So I'll show you guys the plaque up close. Hi, Carrie. <clears throat> but it has like a mirror but anyways so this is it oh there you are guys <laughs> so it says every day miriam <laughs> yes so yeah yeah it came very fast like we got a call babe didn't you say that the they were at the airport with the package like i didn't even know that was a thing <laughs> hi jessica because we don't really get residential mail here so we gave the address for the the post office but <laughs> my lap is back okay this is called pistachio dessert do you have a P.O. box there? Or otherwise, why would you just give the address of a post office? Unless that is customary in Kuwait. But I know I wouldn't have done that in Mexico. And you haven't addressed an apartment. I'm sure they would receive mail. It just, she didn't really show it, but very quickly. So it, it really, I would think, if you really were someone who has legitimately uh, your 100k subscribers i think there would be more on the plaque i know she did that six minute video so maybe that was focusing more on its looks and so forth but i know it's just like a piece of wood <laughs> or something and they make it somewhere out in the states i'm just surprised it would come that quick and the engraving just didn't look all that i would be curious to see how they look engraved on somebody who has legitimately received a plaque at 100k comparison to this engraving because the engraving didn't look that impressive that'll be honest oh and um, by the way that huge thing she's got up in her hand i think that's a container of rice yeah great or maybe that, oh, that's like dessert. Cream? sorry it's like this sorry it's the dessert it's the pistachio dessert oh god that's even worse. I was hoping that was the rice. I forgot she was headed to the dessert. A dessert? Look at the size of that thing. That's outrageous. I mean, even for two people, that is far too much to, to think that you would actually consume it in a timely manner as well. Because these things only last a certain amount of time in the refrigerator. Unless you're Chantel, of course. And then it's gone in two days cookies and like fried vermicelli on top anyway i don't know what it is but it looks good i'm not gonna eat this whole thing i'm gonna have a few bites <laughs> i'll only give you one set of cutlery thank you guys thank you guys what am i gonna where am i gonna put my plaque i have no idea yet okay let's try this huge i didn't want a cake i wanted to try this creamy goodness God, it's whoa it's super thick and creamy do you guys like pistachio oh god oh, so i'm gonna go off the chain Oh my god, that bite was huge. Look at her face. Look at it. Hi, Kiki. I don't know. Thanks, Ethan. Thank I'm you, babe. That's all sweet. over, everywhere. Mm. Oh, yeah, they use vermicelli for a lot of desserts here. Mm -hmm. I know, I always thought that a bit weird at first. It tastes like, like a... You know, like a banana pudding, how they have the cream pudding with the biscuits in it? But it's pistachio. Mm, great. Mm. Less mobile. <laughs> You're going to see air supply. Salam alaikum. Yeah, the pasta. Look. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I knew you were right. This is really good. I just find it funny that her husband would tell her that he needs a healthier, and she's just eating this huge pistachio pudding. And she says just a few bites, but she's gonna annihilate that thing i mean for most of us that would be a lot of dessert okay but for chantelle once she gets going because remember 
she confessed, as you saw at the start of this video, to having a eating disorder, an ED. And as a registered nurse, I'm hopefully I can actually say that. Obviously, all my content comes with trigger warnings because I want to make sure that people understand that foodie beauty has a habit of getting into some really sensitive topics and does not trigger warning any of her content. So for somebody who admitted yesterday to having BED and now they are here with a pudding the size of a hubcap, which is a very popular size food for foodie, this is ridiculous. And an unmanaged type 2 diabetic to boot. It's really appalling that this person has a platform to put this type of content out. But she does, and supposedly she's celebrating for all the people that enjoy watching this person slowly take out their pancreas. And now it's probably quick. The red diamond block? Hmm, Marhaba Habiki. Oh, and I have some Arabic coffee. Oh, great. Just what your, just what your heart wants. Arabic coffee. Whoa, ow! I just... <laughs> oh, that's great. The one, one of is out of the dryer. <laughs> I'm not that move. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Hi, Adrian. Arabic coffee. Yeah, it's um, it has, it's like a spiced coffee. It's kind of like a chai tea, mm. in my opinion. It has like a lot of cardamom in it. Maybe you have to translate for me. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Thank you, Victoria. I put a little bit of makeup. I wouldn't recommend maybe getting too caffeinated, foodie. <laughs> for you guys? <laughs> Not for my husband. <laughs> I just don't like looking like a dead zombie all the time, you know? Mm. Babe. It was very good, but like... Like it? Mmm. I want to see um, you with a mouthful of pudding. This is for like 12 million people. How can it be this big? Thank you, pickle soup. I was looking at pickle things online. <laughs> because he's seen the size of that hubcap you eat of pot pie. And the size of other dishes that you make that are enormous. And the, the huge bowls of rice. I thought that was a bowl of rice you eat. Now I see it's just an enormous pudding. It's even worse. I thought it was rice originally in the picture because it looked like rice. But now I see my was mistaken with the rice. See, I haven't seen this. This is a raw react. I've only cut, I've only checked a couple of parts through the video just to kind of get a sense of what she was going to talk about. Um, but it wasn't rice. <sighs> it's it's just it's pasta though. So I mean it's 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 still a starch. <laughs> I don't know why. I just realized. Okay, here. And um, what was it that I found that was really funny? Oh, it was like a support pickle. <clears throat> I'm eating. It's called pistachio. Pistachio dessert. Pistachio cream, biscuits, and vermicelli. Could you just drop that on her too? Oh god. <laughs> hmm. Can you tell her thanks for being here? It's also nice to see her, and I hope she's doing well. Please. Uh, Mona, Kifik Habiti. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Come on. When did Kifik? <laughs> I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. Is that like the only, that's the only song I know? What other songs do they have? Who sings that song? Uh... No, no. Please sing more singing. What's that love song by the band Chicago? Hi, Bubbles. No, no. I just, I just think. I don't know. Oh my gosh, dear. I'm sorry. As soon as I feel a bit better, I've been having such bad health problems, Dodo. I wouldn't be good company right now, I tell you. I'm not being a snob, I promise. <laughs> oh, okay. Great, Chantel. Let's, let's hear about your health problems as you pop a little bit of pistachio pudding in your mouth, sweetheart. I'd, I'd love to hear about 
how potentially your unmarriage type 2 diabetes could be affecting any part of your health, especially since you eat puddings and you said a couple of bites and obviously, you know, by now you've ate a portion for most people. But you're just probably going to finish this whole thing off in the hour 21 minutes of this live stream. So let's hear how many times we keep hearing that lid pop off and on. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Uh, and so you now want to talk about health issues, get sympathy from your audience, trauma dump your audience, trauma dump. You are the queen of the trauma dump. That's who you are. You're your trauma dump queen now because you are taking your issues and continuously putting them on your audience and putting them online. But these are issues that you are creating for yourself. Your health issues are a creation of you. You, you sitting here putting pudding in your mouth, you sitting and never really exercising. All these pains, it's just terrible that you have a platform that you show people how you affect your health and then you complain about your health. It's just why. Keep going. I'm fascinated at this point. It's how much you're going to, to complain about it. <laughs> mm. Okay. This is really good. Mm. Wow. A lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Someone, it's not that too sweet either. I like that. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Elaine. You too. Thank you. Who did, I, did I miss anybody? Hard to say. I'm sorry. No. Hey, Fufu Egg. Congrats on the podcast. It's your birthday? Happy birthday, Duck Puppet. A swimming pool of pudding for Howie. It's really delicious. I wanted to try something different. Hi, Caroline. I didn't want to try, like... I think the pudding hit the... Uh, is that part of the abaya or the hijab? Whichever pole, it hit it. Sorry. I didn't want to try... Um. I don't want to have like just another celebratory. <laughs> I have to wash this again. Another kind of like the same kind of cake as before. <sighs> Hi, green grapes. It's not kanafa. No, it's not. It looks the top looks like kanafa, but kanafa is actually made with like a shredded pastry. This is noodles, the vermicelli noodles. <clears throat> Woo! -hoo! So. What's going on? I won't be on for long because I can't stand it. Is Olivia Newton-John, did, she, did she pass away? Olivia Newton-John passed away some time ago, Chantel. So let's not bring Olivia Newton-John into this at this time, okay? Sadly, she did. So that answers that question. Secondly, how are you coming on a live stream and have no idea other than showing the plaque and showing the dessert, which you didn't say which store was purchased at. You, you kind of described some of it, but I would have been curious to know what the pistachio was made with. Is it milk? Is it a milk base? I'm guessing so. Is most puddings all? I, I'm always interested because it looked good. I like pistachios, but I'm a vegan. So, well, I should say more of a plant-based eater. Um, and because uh, well, I don't want to get political, so we'll just let it stay that way. Um, and uh, so I'm always curious. I mean, I, I could have learned a little more about the pudding, maybe. I mean, I don't want you eating pudding. Let's put it this way. Pudding is bad for you. Pudding is not something that I would advise, okay? Especially somebody that is saying you health is poor and you're sitting here eating the reason why your health is poor. And just even the amount you ate, which you felt showed restraint, it ends up not really because your health, <laughs> we all keep telling you, and I know it makes you upset and you wonder why we get out here and do it. Well, I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. And then I'll let you continue because I don't want to lose my audience. I have people who write in my chat that they are inspired to improve their health 
because they see how unhealthy you are. And it encourages them to see the doctor, eat better, and exercise. Secondly, because I have been able to affect people in that way, I will continue to react to your content in order to encourage those people. I don't care about you. Hi, Vamp Diva. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the inspiration. Thanks, Tracy Diets. Shelly, because I, my leg hurts today right now. Thanks, Elaine. Hey, Maria's World. Tofu tikka masala. Oh, that sounds good, Green Grapes. Oh, she died. May she rest in peace. Mm. Mm -mm -mm, girl. Oh, oh. Gross. Your what pretzels is... are making me thirsty. <laughs> Beans, Ecker. What makes you thirsty is those elevated blood sugars. It's called polydipsia. Look it up. It's part of a diabetes diagnosis. And if you had any interest in actually taking care of yourself, which we know you do not, then you would understand what some of the signs and symptoms of uncontrolled hyperglycemia would be. But you've no idea. So carry on, Chantel. Carry on, as you know. <laughs> it's so wild, girl. You don't care about your health. So stop talking. I cannot abide by people. And I'm a registered nurse. And people always say, oh, you need to have more compassion. Or don't tell me you're a registered nurse. Well, this is why I'm here. Because I, I can assess people because I've dealt with folks like Chantel for extended periods of time now. It's getting worse. Anyway, you cannot be just saying that you are working on health improvements when it's pretty obvious that you are not doing any of that. In fact, you do yours on a platform. I think I forgot my point at this point. I try to explain who I was. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember it when she starts speaking. So I apologize. Sometimes I do lose track. It's been a long day. Oh, hello. Thanks for popping in. Hey, nice for tooth. You like Calypso music? It's kind of I like something I can drive to. <laughs> no, I was saying something about being a halt nurse. Well, I'm sure Chantel is going to have a halt something going on at some point. <laughs> I lost my track. I apologize, folks. I do it. Masada? What is that? Olivia Newton John beans. Oh. Yeah, Ethan, but it doesn't do crap for me. So I have to take it like injection or oral. The top of the cream doesn't do anything, I find. Which cream are you talking about? A steroid cream? What type of cream? I, I'm not reading her chat, unfortunately, so I'm not sure which cream she's talking about. I do apologize. So that plays the keyboard. Excuse me. Which he will do on my birthday. Oh, <laughs> I don't want my birthday. 40 years old. I feel so old. Oh, well. Oh, really? Ghostface? I never heard of that. That sounds delicious. That love song. You know what love song I like is, I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. Girl, you barely do anything for the people who pay for memberships to your channel. But the one thing that you could do, and for all of us, is please don't sing. I mean, you prepare nothing to come to your live streams with. All of us usually have something that we're coming, either reacting to your nonsense or somebody else's stuff going on, or we are introducing information along the way. There could be a number of things. I have questions and Q&As along with uh, people in a panel, all sorts of stuff. We do all sorts of different things in order to help educate an audience and entertain, hopefully, at the end of the day. You, how are you coming onto your live stream at this many years in the game with nothing, nothing prepared and asking your audience what they want to talk about? I'd be so infuriated if I were paying for a membership to your channel for this. You, the lowest effort out there possible. It's wild. 
are there theories that you are just going low effort almost to like you know get the minimum amount of money in just enough years just to keep Salah happy I don't get into all that I don't know enough about that stuff but your content real low effort I've been reading I don't remember the name of this is it Foreigner maybe Foreigner I like that song Ada B, Ada B. I remember hearing it once. <laughs> they always play those songs, Foreigner. Usually when I'm waiting, like, in an office or something, they play, like, that kind of easy listening. I remember, like, waiting for my car to get fixed. And, like, this was, like, years ago. Even before I did YouTube, I was waiting in a dirty garage somewhere waiting for my car to get fixed. And I just, like, had all this anxiety about how much it was going to cost me because every time you get your car fixed, it's freaking arm and a leg, right? So they were playing that song in the background. That's what it reminds me of. Gasoline, snowing, garage. But I like the song. Anyway, the surprise really, Sarah Jean, it was on there. Shocker, Chantel does not properly care for her vehicle. I usually find if you do maintenance along the way, especially if it's a new vehicle that you purchase, like she had purchased a new Kia, I understand, then you will not have too many mechanical issues if it the car wasn't what they call a living. You should do, you know, I've had my car with zero mechanical issues and I've had it for three years now. And I do the maintenance that, not over the top, but I have mechanic friends, but what's needed? Don't have any issues, girl. <laughs> I'll keep my car for years. Just a shocker. Thank you, Valley. That's very nice and positive of you. <laughs> <laughs> 70s music, like what? Welcome to Lama, Sue Ellen. Oh, Sue Ann, hold on, sorry. Stop singing. Why do I think you're going to Sue Speed you along. Keep singing. White Snake? No. What are they singing? What are they saying? Here I go again on my own. Oh, no. Please don't. <clears throat> I think that was Def Leppard. But maybe a hair metal band era. Yeah, I have guideliner, to... hairspray, and tight pants. Weird chest hair. It was probably white. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom hates that white snake song. I don't like it either that much, but I guess it's better than uh, Dreamweaver. <laughs> Is he still like getting into that look? Well, maybe. No, I'm kidding. What you always hated that song, Dreamweaver. <laughs> okay, what's like what's the song you hate the most? Okay, so Chantel, this is boring. Can we can we get to something interesting? I might have to find the word pain or something. Okay. Dreamweaver is an awesome ethereal song, girl. You gotta be in the right mood to listen to Dreamweaver. Please, no more singing. People, stop encouraging her. <laughs> Your audience, be damned. You want to bring Gargan for me? Oh no way! Really? Is that a dessert? Hi, Cynthia. Dodo, have you ever tried this Lulu Sweets pistachio? Stacy's mom. I hate that song. <laughs> I'm curious, Georgie. White snakes, lesser like what? I must know more white snakes. You like talking to Arabic people? Me too. <laughs> I like um what Arabic people are you speaking with other than Salau? Because I think they that sub for subgroup with the cat you've probably been barred from now. <laughs> so who are you talking to? You don't talk to your neighbors, you don't get out there. Who are you talking to? Girl. Be realistic. No, the police, uh, I don't know. It's tasty. Yeah, it is tasty. I don't know. Killing me softly with his own. If you mean the one from the Fugees? Fugees? <laughs> Who do say the fugitives? <laughs> Ow. Mm, Hi, Cynthia. Seattle grunge. I grew up with Seattle grunge too, but, and like Canadian grunge. Canadian grunge as in like Our Lady Peace. What else is Canadian grunge? Ow. The Matthew Good band. I used to love Matthew Good. I was obsessed. Hi, Sylvia. Mm. The refugees. Alice in Chains. Yeah, I, I know. I like I know they're so popular and I never liked his voice. I don't like the whiny, but like then again, I liked Our Lady Peace and their voice is the most whiniest. Mm. Like, I don't know. There was something like I don't know. They have a certain voice I don't like. Hi, Scrap Boat. And skinny bob with poison. I never heard that one. I heard blitzkrieg bob, which I don't like either. I never liked like um 
the Ramones. I don't like that. <laughs> blasphemous. That is blasphemous that you should say that about the Ramones. I saw the Ramones in 1985 in concert with REM and you two. How dare you blaspheme the Ramones like that, girl? Gosh, you're even more irritating now. Keep going. Blasphemous. Uh, I hate any song revolving around any specific person's name. Yeah, like, isn't there a song called Amanda? I want to take you by surprise and make you realize, Amanda. Mm, okay. <laughs> like, who cares? No one cares. <laughs> Jolene! <laughs> well, or come on, I mean. There's the others of Okay, how is it in one minute you are saying that you're in pain and the next second you're laughing and thrusting your back back and doing all this stuff in the chair? So which is it? Because if you had a persistent pain, it doesn't come off. In, in, that's the most intermittent pain I've ever seen in my life. It's the most intermittent pain ever. One second it's there, the next second it isn't. I don't know what's going on with you, girl. But if you thought that it was something like all this movement would aggravate it, wouldn't you stop trying to do all this movement? That's why I just feel that you're so full of just not telling the truth. Hurry up with this thing about the music. It's boring. You, you like, just it's not, I'm, I'm unentertained now by it. It was funny for like one second. Keep going. Phew, I know what you mean. I'm like that too, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like men singing in falsetto. <laughs> oh yeah, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Granny, <you're here. clears throat> I think it's just singing. I don't want <laughs> no Applebee's. Jesse's girl. Oh, I, I can't stand it. Where can I find a woman like that? You're probably not gonna get one, buddy. <laughs> you love Come On Eileen. It's very popular. Nice ghost face, really? Yeah, Kim Richards. It is. <laughs> Maria from Taka. I've never heard of that. Just watch this and have to watch it again because there's probably vermicelli and Arabic coffee on it. Uh, well, that's usually what happens with clothing, which is why they're washed daily <laughs> most of the time. Because throughout the day you get dirt or food or whatever. So generally, I would have to say, unless it's a pair of jeans and maybe some other pairs of pants, it goes in the wash. Maybe sw certain sweaters or sweatshirts, maybe a couple of more wears. But definitely shirts and things in the wash. In the wash. Oh, underwear and socks without fail. Oh, I, I do still love, love Journey. Yeah. I love their music. Very is a special day in Ramadan that is celebrated in Kuwait. It's usually celebrated on the 13th and 14th day of Ramadan during the celebration. People hand out candy and nuts after it's dark. No way. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. I think you might have told me about that actually, babe, but I forgot. <laughs> wiggle Wiggle by the Out There Brothers. <laughs> it kind of does the word, eh, Applebee's? Yeah. Remember the dungeon clinic? <laughs> you guys were like, it looks like your clinic has a drawbridge in a moat. <laughs> I picture somebody at the clinic wheeling down the, the drawbridge. <laughs> what brings you yonder? <laughs> well, kind fellow, my wife has sciatica. We must see a doctor at once. <laughs> I think people who've had sciatica, Chantel, would think at this moment in time, it don't look like you got sciatica, girl. And uh, we're going to find out very soon a little bit more about the sciatica. Keep keep, keep trying to just uh, play your audience and uh, allegedly, and from what we find out, lie to them. Uh, what's in this Arabic coffee? The Harry Potter board? <laughs> Oh, it hurts to laugh. Oh, it hurts to laugh. It hurts to sneeze. It hurts to complain. It hurts to sneeze. <laughs> me when the carbs hit. Yeah, this thing has a lot of sugar, maybe. I don't know. Don't give me sugar or coffee. Let's have more coffee. Just a little bit. We're going to be wired. Oh, great. Oh, oh, no, I spilled it all over myself. There's something wrong with this carafe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's awesome. Like a child, twice now. <laughs> San yeah. Pedro. Last night I dreamt of San Pedro. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know the rest right now. I forget it. You're gonna kill my channel, girl. <laughs> what did I have for? Not something healthy. 
I got two grilled cheese sandwiches, two chicken strips, some gherkin pickles. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Ollie. Yes, Shannon. Great. Grilled cheese. Bread and cheese ticks the box. Chicken strip. Chicken ticks the box. Pickles ticks the box. That sounds like one of Chantel's healthy, mature adult meals. And you know in um, Ollie? I tried it twice. It's like one of my favorite desserts too. It's so good. Yes. Deli Nina, hello. Hey, Andre Marie, Jaina. Hey, Angela. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go back to a doctor. This is where I long to be. Young girl with eyes like the desert. Have to go back to a doctor. Help the teeth. You know, there's something, mm. there was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. Sort of. Sounds familiar. It's not the Lady Gaga one, right? Hi, Nick. Um, Nick Pro Dog and No Name. Yeah, Cynthia is. Yeah, I guess I will have to verify. What's a troll meal? You guys didn't even like Cuba when I was there, did you? Were you entertained? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't buy any subscribers. I thought that people bought me subscribers or something, but I didn't do it. Are you kidding? I don't know how to do that. Is this lie number two or three in this video? I should be writing down how many lies. So it's the lie about seeing a doctor for the sciatica. It's a lie about a sciatica diagnosis. It's uh, this lie about buying subs. Okay. Of course you bought subs, Chantel. You were either on a sub for sub site. Well, we know that. And then there were very obvious times when you were having very even numbers of subscribers added to your channel. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Keep going, girl. The more you deny, the more it looks like a lie. I don't want, I don't want to lose my channel over that, but like if they were like fake subscribers, YouTube said they would have got rid of them and they're still, knock on wood, still up there. So no. <sighs> I had COVID once. Yeah, it sucks. Beans love this mood, Brittany. Oh, it's just so it's just so interesting that she so hung around that sort of ninety-seven thousand for a long time, and then she increased rapidly to a hundred and one thousand, and now she hasn't really gained any more subscribers. Interesting that. I wonder how when you'll get another growth spurt to the channel. Because it looks like it's stalled for some reason. I wonder why. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's Brittany. I forgot. Beans Eckerts. Thank you, Brittany. Me too. I like this mood. Relish. Hollow notes. Do they sing? Um. What songs do they sing? I like them. I don't like Man Eater though. That song that much. But there's another song I like by them. <laughs> Probably Rich Girl. <laughs> nice theory, Belly. Hi, S H. Relish on a burger. <laughs> I don't even remember. What did I say about the relish on the burger when I was Cuba raging? I don't remember. The Canadian Lumberjack by Stompin' Tom? Oh, no way! Uh, I think I've heard it. I have to go back and listen. But <clears throat> Just make a dish where you do it totally wrong. Oh, a troll dish. I get it, yeah. That would be a good idea. <laughs> they would think I'm serious. I know it. Fam team, a karaoke request. Sing kaja gugu. Shai shai ha shai shai why. You mean all those dishes you don't make aren't troll dishes already? <laughs> those are serious? Oh, I thought they were troll dishes. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Are you spinning me right round? <laughs> okay, we have Diva. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> you know what? Too Shy was one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Yo, too shy, shy, hush, hush, anyway. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Yeah. And um, uh, how does the other one go? All I know is that to me, you look like you're lots of fun. Open up your loving arms. I want some, want some. <laughs> yeah, I remember That's that song. Alive. He has, like, does he have long fingers or something in the video? <laughs> R.I.P. Pete Burns. R.I.P. Pete Burns. Don't look like the sciatica too bad at the moment, Chantel. Keep going, girl. <laughs> Looks very happy. I can spin. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> I hate the part where he goes, 
I want your love. <laughs> Why am I hyper? Oh, my sciatica. Oh, okay. I don't know any of those songs. The wedding singer, yes. That's what it reminds me of, yeah. <laughs> and the boy George guy. Do you really want to hurt me? What am I on? I don't even know. Um, NSAID, pistachio, and carrot coffee. What's the conga? I wouldn't suggest long-term NSAID use because they can cause gastric bleeds. That's one of the reasons why they're not prescribed for extended period of times so often. So I'm surprised you've been taking an NSAID, it seems like, for months now. Caution, you will have a gastric bleed if you are really taking this much NSAID. Just, just letting you know. I don't know what milligram, but that's, you know, I've seen young men come into hospital from having overused them. They usually say it's seven to 10 days, and this is beyond. So what are you all about? It's not been prescribed by a doctor, obviously, because no doctor prescribed inside use like that. Well, maybe depending. It depends. But no, I mean, it just depends, but it'd be an as needed basis. Let's put it this way. And I don't think with all of your other comorbidities that they would want to prescribe you an inset. You, it's too, you're too, you've already had a PE. So why would they prescribe you a drug that would give you an increased bleed risk? I wouldn't want to put that on my license. So I find that very suspicious that you're taking all this NSAID with its high bleeding risk. Spe seems very odd. Very odd. Babe, sing Paula Abdul. Uh, what is she saying? Uh, Straight up hell, tell me, is it gonna be you and me forever? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a cut and hit and run. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, energy. I like if a puckle, you sell me your couch cushions. How much are you willing to pay? <clears throat> handsomest man, handsomest man. Oh my God, he's a handsomest man, baby. <laughs> I said no one can love you quite like you can. Allow must <laughs> not be there. Hi, Jenny Arp. You didn't see the clock? Okay, I'll flash it again. Here it is. Every day, Miriam. Congratulations. I think my one million plaque will say something else. No, I'm just joking. That's hot. It's nice and cold. Enya? Who can say what That's the only song I know. <laughs> really second. My favorite babe. Yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like me. That's true. <laughs> Limal. What is that again? Oh, is that the shy shy guy? Let's catch a Google. Did you know that he sings the never ending story song? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Andre Marie. Thanks, Aleo. Hey, Black Chaos. How are you? Hope oh, you get the golden diamond. Thank you, Ghostface. Yeah, they like it was sent by UPS. Like I got, I was getting emails at UPS, which is shipping it, and they keep you up to date. <clears throat> they was supposed to come on the nineteenth. Excuse me, sorry. And then, um, Salah, they got a call, and I think Baby said the guy was at the airport, and they were going to deliver it within like the hour. Is that right? So it must be airmail like, to get here that quick too. I mean, it have to be airmail. How can it be anything else? They can't be like local courier. They have to go over the, the sea. So yeah, it has to be by air. <laughs> I guess they could take a boat. But like, mm. I was afraid. Like I was like, it's going to take forever. 2022? Monica, really? Camel delivery? <laughs> I want that to be a thing. Do they really go to that extent? To like air mail that rapidly a plaque to Chantel? <laughs> it just seems like that would be a lot. Even for a channel with 100,000 subscribers, it just seems a little over the top. It just seems like it came very quickly. Very quickly. Or Stork. I think they have some local production in Asia and in the Middle East for all Asian channels. Oh, that would make sense. Check the tracking. It will show. That's true. I should check and see if it says, yeah. YouTube should get a platform for congratulating them for having everyday Mary Mother platform. That's what I say. That's funny, Sprite Boat. I agree. Go Beezer. Blue Window. 
Did you pay for the fast shipping to the home? He told me I will come after one hour and a half and he came just on time. Nice. Yeah, it usually takes, I guess it depends. Yeah, I didn't expect it to Jenna to take that little time either. I was expecting it to never get here. That's why I was like, I don't know. Hey, Jack. So yeah. You were number six months. Uh -huh. You can send DD a custom plaque that says I took a crack out of all I got was a bruise. Oh, darn. Well, nothing to say to that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I can't speak Arabic. <laughs> Welcome all pieces. Nice to see you. Yes, guys. It's nice to see you here. I want pickle soup now. You know, I, I bought a jar of pickle soup once. It wasn't that great, actually. Someone recommended your channel as you were traveling to Kuwait to meet Salah for the first time and I tuned in. Only Chantel would find pickle soup. <laughs> She's just going on about the, you know, how quickly the plat came. And I would have thought since her channel was supposedly started in Canada, that it would have come out of a North American location. Because I... I don't know unless she changed to, to Kuwait, which could affect her monetization because it's about which country that you're out of. So I'm always very curious. And I guess we need to actually look into her channel a little bit closer and see where her where she's located out of because it will say which part of the globe. So if she's located out of uh, Canada... Then it wouldn't have been made to a to from an Asia uh, location. I I haven't looked that far into her channel. Been and been religiously watching Prince. Nice, Monica. Thank you so much. I like to hear that. My favorite pieces were orange chicken and sometimes Shay when she talked about her blocks. Oh yeah, Shay Guevara, right? And I thought she was like just that was her actual name, I think. And I thought it was just like a troll name because of like Shay Guevara. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, orange chicken. Yeah, I remember orange chicken. I can't remember, like, I don't know. If you name them, I would remember them. I don't go to the mosque because I, I'm still, like, kind of... Che is a Hispanic nickname, and I can't re remember what it's, like, is it, like, for... It's something like Rodrigo or somebody. I can't remember. Don't hold me to that. I just said that Che is a nickname. It's, like, if somebody's called Jose, they would be often nicknamed... Pepe, that's the nickname from Jose. So Che is just a nickname. That's it. That's it, Chantel. Nothing more. But you're not very well read, so you don't know these things. Embarrassed to pray in front of a lot of people. Salah does, yeah. My definitely fake YouTube play button. Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, especially being a gay, pretty privilege. Yeah, that's right. I send them a pic in my face like this. Please send ASAP. Oh, really? Pickle soup? <laughs> Orange chicken was funny. I can't remember. So long ago. It seems like forever ago, you know? But I had some pretty funny trolls, pretty funny people in my <clears throat> in my uh, chats, you know? It always, my chats always just feel like they're sitting around shooting the crap, like shooting the shit. You know, it's a saying, shooting the shit. They basically say that. But I'm like swearing. I'm trying not to swear. So anyway, um, sorry, I have a nose tick and it gets on my nerves. Is that like Tourette's? If you have a tick, it might be like a... Well, the reason why your chat seems aimless, Chantel, and just shooting the breeze, if you want a better term that does not include a cussy word, the reason being is because you are aimless in the content that you present. I'm sorry for the rattling. I was munching on some popcorn. I so apologize. Uh, so that is the reason... If you came with a structure, like came with a video to react to, or was a, a, even a video about Kuwait that you had found that was interesting on YouTube, and you watched that with your audience and talked about uh, things and experiences that you have learned, but you don't get outside, so there's nothing you could have experienced to learn, but you do nothing. You have no content to bring. You come on your live and ask the chat, what are we doing? It's wild. You know, you're not prepared for anything except for them to watch you either dessert and you hold up this this supposed plaque. A mild case. It's not like a full-blown case. It is a plaque. 
I noticed my nose moves like involuntarily. Oh, involuntarily. That's embarrassing. I don't know. Does that? I, I'm afraid. Like you know, I haven't been doing it as long as people like born and raised Muslim, and I'm just afraid that they're gonna watch me or something, or I won't be able to get down and, and up. Like so, like I can sometimes do it, but not always because of, like it depends if my leg hurts. <clears throat> so sometimes I have to sit for part of it, and the rest. You know what I mean? Like I do what I can. Oh, the reason why you find it difficult to get up and down is because your leg hurts? Or is it because you're just, uh, well, I can believe that. But are there other issues involved in that leg hurting? Or size or just struggle, real struggles going on? Mm. Yeah. Hi, Marcia. Hey, Lady J. It's going to be a sign of being overly stimulated or slightly anxious, really. I've always done it for, like, years. You like the song Pump Down Kings? Actually, like, all all the stuff that happened aside, I do like that song. I don't know. It is a good song. Your nose is beezing. Beezing, beezing. That's her filters beezing, not her nose. Well, her nose is probably going in and out and twitching, but those, that's the filters, folks, okay? She uses 15 layers of filter to look this decent. <laughs> she uses a lot of filter to look this good. But the cameras struggle sometimes. They they glitch. So that's why the nose beezes. Okay. There's nothing more remarkable than that. Gosh, her audience is wild. <laughs> He's up to oh, really? <gasps> she still has 40 minutes. God. We're halfway. Yeah. Through. Well, so you think it's like like for him, it's like a like a nervous thing. I know switching too much caffeine. It moves because you're lighting. <laughs> Amberly Green. Wow. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey. So nice to see you here. Seriously. Thank you. <laughs> you have a plaque, right? You got yours. You have like over two hundred thousand. <clears throat> Where do you put your plaque? No. <laughs> oh, this is the infamous moment at four minutes and thirty seconds that Amberlynn Reed comes into Foodie Beauty, a.k.a. Everyday Miriam chat, and I guess to celebrate with her her 100K uh, victory. And I guess I'm going to shrink it at this point so everybody can see uh, Miss Amberlynn come in to her chat at this point. So let me play that. Thank you, thank you. I have it on, on a built-in bookshelf. Oh, okay. You uh, you really decorate your place nice. I always said that. Like you have a really nice apartment. Like do you decorate it yourself? I could never. I don't know how to decorate. I have no. You know what it is? It's just like it's so overwhelming. Go like let's say. And there we have our verified Amberlyn Reed having joined in with Foodie Beauties. 100k celebration my goodness girl you've got all the stars and girl world out celebrating this momentous occasion what do we owe the honor of also having amber lynn let's see if she adds any more or she disappears out of the chat after this but what a moment guys what a moment yeah go to a store like winners or something okay or home sense they have so many cute things how do you know which one to buy and mix with the rest of your stuff like i just can't it, it overwhelms my brain oh hey lars a girl's girl this is the most excitement that Chantel's chat has had probably the whole live stream. They are all saying hi to Amberlynn. They are cannot believe that such a wonderful person from Girl World has joined Chantel's chat. This is like a star. This is a celebrity. Chantel is just, they've gone beef go. Don't believe that there's not drama between these two because obviously there is. It's girl world. You are really good. You're better than me. Really, Mary? I do have a lot of stress, I guess. I just stress about everything. I would totally decorate your home. Yeah, I wish you could. Jeez. <laughs> For real. I remember when I was seeing when you first moved into your place there, your new apartment, I was like, wow, it's really nice. Like the way you decorated was really nice. <clears throat> but Amberlynn, you think you can improve on these couches with the, looks like the flag of something hanging behind her? <laughs> You think you can improve on this aesthetic? No, I don't know, girl. It's a pretty good aesthetic. And and Amber Lynn also says, 
I would totally decorate your home. And obviously, you know, we don't expect Amber Lynn to be able to spell you are. So we're going to let that slide. Uh, for you, LOL, that would be a vibe. Vibe is my name. Okay? Just lay off the vibe. Thank you. Let's continue. When you're stressed, uncomfortable, or feeling anxious, physical reaction. Oh, okay. I see, damn diva. The plaque on the back. The plaque on the back. It's not really, like, special. It's just like this. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, pretty good quality, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. There is a video on YouTube that I believe that one of these MSNBC, I think Amberlynn disappeared out of the chat after that. Uh, one of these locations had taken people through the whole making of it. And I want to think there's something on the back of it. So I would be interested to go into that video and see if there is something included on the back about when it was made or something of that nature. Oil diffuser, Emily and Roxel speaker plants. Nice. The new VM here. Bring photos of the room to decorating for reference. It's a good idea. Buzzball, what is buzzball? Is it heavy? It's kind of heavy, pickle soup a little bit, yeah. It's like not flimsy. Sims 4 mock? No way, that's a good, a cool idea, Ethan. Kentucky, is that, they do have a lot of uh, tornadoes, eh? Visual merchandising. Oh, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm bad at making homes and sims even. I don't know how to, that's why I don't like it. Cause I, I don't care, I don't just, you know, I don't know. Voicemail, oh yeah, voicemail, Vanna. <laughs> Thank you, Ghostface. I noticed that your gaming has seemingly come to an end because we haven't seen any of your live streams playing Phasma, whatever the game was called, don't get me for it. Faz, fam, Famgasma? All right, the one with the ghost, anyway. I haven't seen you playing recently. I think you just got so much hate from the gaming community. Because I, I guess you need to have some skills before you just put yourself out there. Okay, so same to you. I saw you curly pop. <laughs> Do you like going on long flights, Amberlynn? Ugh. I don't. I like to travel and then I don't. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Oh. Libra? Yeah. <laughs> Eliza Libra. <laughs> I'm wondering, shocking, why Chantel doesn't like a long flight after she said that she sat for 12 hours without moving on one. Sounds sounds like a very pleasant experience to me. Sounds like not potentially a risk for a DVT. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think I have a favorite color. People ask me that. I don't know. I like black. <laughs> I like red. I like greens. Colors I don't like is easier for me to tell you. I don't like orange. I don't like yellow. Unless I'm trying to be like contrary. Oh wow, Lisa, you're lucky. Jeez. Tornadoes are like one of my worst fears and tsunamis, even though I don't. Is it possible? There's oh no, we live right near the coast. We have to move ASAP. It's possible to be caught in a tsunami. When I was in Ottawa, I know. Very fat phobic to assume travel is only hard for bigger bodies. It's not only hard, but it is harder, definitely. I would say. It's the stress. There's some it's especially hard when you are reluctant to ever purchase an extra seat knowing your size sometimes the stress a lot of people like a lot of bigger people will get embarrassed about the logistics of it am i gonna fit i'm gonna have to ask for a seatbelt because people stare at you i'm not gonna lie like I, I just got to a point where i don't care i don't care if people stare at me i actually like people to stare at me stare at me all you want and anyway <clears throat> no you don't chantelle and that's why you are barely out with a crowd so you don't like people staring at you. You get upset if you think people are staring at you sitting in your car in Canada. Like a person does not have a right in a public place to even glance in a direction that you believe is in your direction without you having a hissy fit. So again, I, I can't, I keep, I think this is the fourth big lie now. <laughs> fourth big lie. Fourth big lie. 
that I can think of. There's probably been more little lies in between since you lied about uh, buying subs. Oh, and the plaque. Oh, how can I forget about the plaque? That's probably one of the biggest lies in there, too. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be a list of a lot of lies. Everyone is sitting and looking at you. You know, you look, I do it. I stare at the people going down the aisle and watch them go to their seat. I don't know why. There's nothing to do. So, <laughs> so you just have to say, can I have a seatbelt extender? And it's like, you know, it's noisy in there. So you have to ask loud. And people look at you. So some people are embarrassed by that, you know. Have I had my colors done? I did it for like makeup with MAC a long time ago. And it was like plummy colors. People don't really stare in Kuwait. People are like, they people. A lot of, most people lower their gaze here. So I'm surprised we went from makeup to travel to uh, Chantel feeling body shamed. <laughs> you know, it's. It's the circle of Chantel. I wouldn't say no, but on the plane, yeah, people stare hardcore on the plane. Like, they'd stare at you. I bring my own seat. I gotta buy one. You know what? And you're right. <sighs> mm hmm <laughs> People claw the windows. Sleepers are the best. No way, really? I didn't know that. I want another bite. It's gonna spoil. Okay, I'm only gonna stay on for another 10 or so. Don't worry, babe. I'm not eating at all. <laughs> I'll save you a little. So... That's already a lie. She's going to be on for about another 24 minutes. <laughs> Actually, longer than that. 34 minutes. <laughs> and that pudding going to be annihilated by the end of this live stream. And if Salau is there, I don't know. If I personally, I would prefer it for my partner to portion what they were eating into a bowl. I'm, I'm not in a relationship when I was. I would prefer the person to have the decency to portion what they want rather than putting their spoon and their stuff back into the food. It's just, it's not great. And then you're leaving the pudding sitting out, which looks like something that probably should be refrigerated. And you're out here for an hour and 20 some minutes with that pudding sitting out. So not only is it not being kept refrigerated, and it looks like it would be refrigerated because it's like that pistachio cream. I don't know. To me, it looks like once open, it would be refrigerated. And you are letting it sit out for an extended period of time. It's just wild, girl. Just wild. Just keep going. I just, the health, health. If you get icky tummy, I don't want to know why because it was that pudding that Scott left out. It's too big. Look at this delicious portion it into a bowl. Oh, gross me out. <laughs> Actually, you're right, Shelly. I noticed, like, no, that's not true. You can't hear them, but you can smell them. The one dude in front of me. No need to be embarrassed as long as you're going to be comfy with that. So what? Yeah, exactly, babe. You made me feel really comfy in Thailand. I'm pretty sure you were even the one who asked for the seatbelt extender. I didn't even ask him to. <laughs> I can promise you, Chantel flying economy. She went budget very full to need a seatbelt extender. I think that's just a plain, that's just to keep people mentally thinking they feel safe. I don't know if they actually do anything, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> well, I guess that's a lie because I had heard and read a article that there was a gentleman that thankfully, because he did have a airplane seatbelt on that when the, plane had suddenly i think its door just fly off mid-flight he wasn't sucked out of the airplane because the seat belt literally saved his life so uh, i'll retract that there is a reason to have a seat belt on an airplane <laughs> yeah yes babe you should just make bigger seatbelts. why is it so hard uh, am i twitching later i'm not sure meep we're kind of tired the pain makes me tired. I do need to get back to twitching, though, but maybe. We have to start doing some of those movies you, you suggested. Oh, babe, um, do you want to drop a picture of each other? That would be fun. 
My birthday is March 28th. They would have to wrap it around the body. The thin people would have to wrap it around their body three times. No, they can just pull the thing. I guess then there would be flaps going everywhere. <laughs> the seatbelt flaps. Or they can make retractable things. I don't know. I don't know. They can have dimmable windows. They can't make better seatbelts. I don't know. I'm buying my own extender when I can. When I can find one. You know? <sighs> well, Chantel, that actually sounds like an idea. If you're too embarrassed to ask, and it's something that you could potentially purchase and have and carry, then why don't you? Because, oh, because it makes too much sense. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Carry on. God, 30 more minutes of her saying lies and nonsense. I don't know. They would stretch like normal, just pull out more. Thank you, entrance. They could make safety bars like a roller coaster. They're not flexible like seatbelt cars. No, they're not because it's over your lap, not over your shoulder. Lizzie, no way. Happy birthday. Thank you, little nitty. Thank you. The haunted blue window. <laughs> the window to nowhere. The window to Narnia. I'd rather sit next to a larger person than a crying baby. Me too. Yep. Happy birthday. So many people are jealous. You didn't get it easy like something. Thank you, Bally. Yeah, I've had like took me like seven years to get this plaque. <laughs> so thanks, Lizzie. Very easily. I don't get it any means possible. God bless the eat Libra. The patience must be so real. Uh, I can't even stand myself. I can't imagine other people. Aries are the worst of the zodiac sign, I swear. Nobody likes Aries. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't I don't like any Aries I know. I, I can't stand them. I can't. I can't. I used to work with one. Oh my gosh, we didn't get along at all. We didn't get along at all. We would just like low-key, passive aggressively insult each other all, all shift. And we were control freaks about what to do. Like, I don't know. I love Aries, but I'm a Sag. Uh, he's a Libra meep. Hi, Angel of Mercy. Yeah, I got an Aries tattoo, but like really the more I know, like I just, no, I don't like them. I don't know why I got that. I thought it was a cool tattoo, I guess. An Aries, married to an Aries. I find Aries men are different than women though. My Aries dad was such a narcissist, really? Hey, Frank White. He's a Libra. Oh, okay. Are we really doing the horoscopes? Really? Really? Just, okay. I guess. All right. All right. Conv continue clairvoyant Chantel. Chantel, the horoscope queen. Let's go. Opposites attracted, you know. That's a, that's a, the Janet Jackson song? Or is it Paula Abdul? <sighs> Why would the plaque be fake? Like, I'm at, I'm at over 100,000 subscribers. So, like, they give you a plaque when you have over 100,000 subscribers. You know? I thought maybe because my channel got taken away once, but it's been taken back and there's no strike on my channel so anymore. So, I got the email to redeem it because they send you an email. So, yeah. Well, that's a real simple fix, Chantel. Let's see the full screenshot of that email. <laughs> Redact what needed. Like nothing, unfortunately, because you would you have no receipts, just this sad looking plaque and some thin paper that came with it. I had a friend that was in Aries. That's so awful. <laughs> really? I think we're just really itchy sometimes. Short tempered, you know? That's probably the hyperglycemia talking. <laughs> or that the sciatica pain. <laughs> I wonder, Applebee's, I don't know. Tornadoes of chaos are off the turf. Timmy's becoming an Aries, yeah. <laughs> you can't wrestle. <laughs> this plaque is made by me in the factory of the Blue Windows production. <laughs> CK or Tom, okay. Paula Abdul. Oh, okay. And opposites are tracking, you know. That's so believable. I think I, I remember looking up fake ones just to see if it's possible to, to make a fake one because people were saying like, and I was like curious, I'm like, can you even do that? They didn't look like this at all. I don't know. Plus the letter and everything. I don't know. It's just really weird. If you go under 100K, nope. Really, Chantel? Well, see, that would be interesting. Why don't you show those videos to the channel and, and show how they produce a 
illegitimate YouTube plaque in some other place. I mean, it's just the more you talk about it, the more guilty you appear, which I love. You get your plaque forever. Because <laughs> at one point you did reach 100K, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever get a diamond one. That would be, how many years would that take me? I'll be freaking dead and gone. At that point, it would take me like a long time. A long, long time. Sometimes you feel like you should have been a mermaid. And maybe the blue one. Make a Grammy. Yeah, I deserve a Grammy for the songs I did. I think they're pretty. Well, I was just going to say, Chantel, before you start talking about more music, since this seems to be your music live stream, the opportunity to reach a level to have a platinum plaque would require people actually wanting to watch a content. It's going to be hard when you've got like 6,000 views on something to get, <laughs> you know, a million subs. <laughs> Be creative. My plaque is here. Hello, Kaylee. Thank you. Sagittarius men. Yeah, I don't the worst, honestly. I took my nose stud out. It was getting on my nerves. I find piercings in weird places do that after a while. Like I took the remember when I had this, the tragus? I don't know what what was it called? Oh, that was so annoying. It never healed. And then I had a lip ring, I took it out because I was always biting it. Same thing with the tongue ring. Well. That could be a couple of reasons. One, you're not very hygienic, so you're not keeping your piercings properly clean. And second, the unmanaged type 2 diabetes that causes a delay in any healing, if not healing certain types of lesions and ulcers at all very well. So, I mean, that could be just a couple of things. Just, just off the top of my head, real fast. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, I know Lizzie, they're going to say, look at the fake plaques, it's fake. Oh, well, so what? If they think it's fake, go for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Shelly. Yeah, maybe. How expensive is rent? It depends. It's more affordable than, than Canada. Oh, really, Capone? Allergies? Hi, pretty lady. Miriam Match Boots. I want that as my name now. I put Everyday Miriam on it. Anyways, if I change it back to something else, which I don't think I will. But if I did, I guess it would be very fitting of me to be, because I changed my mind so much that my clock would have a different name. Handsome man spray. <laughs> I don't think he is, no. So just think, Chantel, if you ever have a really bad argument with Salau, like he did that time in Canada when he was caught messaging one of your Beezers with some really nasty stuff, and you wanted to quit being with him and even participating in the Muslim faith, all of these things. You you wanted rid of all of it. And that would be ironic one day when it would happen potentially, as we are all thinking, that you and Salah may not last forever and you have to return with your tail between your legs back to Canada with a plaque saying everyday Miriam <laughs> and you will always therefore on your 100k plaque be everyday Miriam you will not ever be foodie beauty foodie beauty is not the person so in reality everyday Miriam was not the personality that got your channel to 100k but that's the personality that's gonna have your plaque look happy thank you thanks Waterbeak oh you think you can buy a new one? Oh yeah you can buy a cop a different one i think so yeah i don't know how much it is but <laughs> does youtube have a shop so that you can buy more than one person on the channel a plaque so they just give one and then you can purchase more i don't know i i am not in a place anywhere near thinking about plaques with my channel <laughs> 70 bucks for any color. Yep, the silver plaque is, uh, oh, you mean like the ones, why would you want to buy one if you didn't earn it? That's not the same. There's no, there's no pleasure, like there would be no pleasure for me to buy something I didn't earn. There's no bragging rights in the the <laughs> fact that you bought it and you cheated your way to something. No, that's not me. I don't like that. <laughs> no satisfaction there. What number lie is this? Because 
Everybody knows you were on a sub for sub site. There was so much evidence. And then all your numbers went down probably when the cat subs left. And then somehow you went back to 101. Way too much craziness going on at that time, Chantel, for it all to be legitimate. <laughs> you are so burying yourself even further. I love it. It's, it's actually quite, you're boring. And then brief moments like this, you'll be entertaining. And then we're going to get, she's going to confess finally in like a minute and, and 17 or an hour and 17 minutes. You know, her, her lies. She actually admits she's lies. There. Oh, like, what are you doing? 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 Oh, please. Come. Let me your fishy breath. Okay. Come, fishy boo. Why? <laughs> Why are cats oh, so cute? Poor Julia. Why? Oh, Julia, please don't no, do that. The kissing. She doesn't kissing. like that. Yes, baby girl. Oh. She needs brush. Okay, okay. She looks matted. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. a sign Salau's not there. Salau brush the cat. Salau is yeah, doing better. Uh, the intro. I just want to say that Julia looked better cared for with Salau taking her off to the little groomer place in the videos and so forth before all the, you know, than this <laughs> in state she is in now. So, Julia does better without you around, girl. Just saying. That cat does not want to be manhandled like that. You don't You don't just grab cats like that, from what I understand. You know, kids do that sometimes, yes. But, you know, it's not like a little dog that, you know, will be picked up and stuff. Cats are a little more independent and different. They have to come to you. That, you know, that cat's, no wonder that cat's always trying to escape from you. All right, 20 minutes to go. We're almost through this. The multitude of lies are wearing me down. The trying finger wart. Trying names. to stay humorous. I want to get rid of it. I like it now. <laughs> I want to name it. Warty. No. Oh, girl. <laughs> really? No. Why? Oh. Oh, God. That. I need to write this second down because I need to do this for my thumbnail. Um. The, girl, that's the perfect pause story for you. Um, no, I got that pause story. I almost forgot about the board. There could be a number of reasons as to why that is on your finger. And I suggest that you find out if it's a wart and is something that is uh, more spreadable. Or, you know, I mean, they usually come up through the soles of your feet. That's how they usually came. So, I mean, that could have started out in Thailand. And now it's now you're actually seeing it as a wart on your finger. Just saying. <laughs> Hello. I'm saying from how are you, how are the you? you were walking in. By the way, somebody wanted me to do a cameo for them, entirely singing them a song with the tree lady voice. Not anything against Thailand, okay? I just want to clarify. It's nothing against Thailand. It's just that Chantel was walking in dirty water in Thailand, and that would be the type of water, regardless whether it were Thailand, Kuwait, here in the States, where, that you would pick up some type of fungal infection. And they usually come through the, the soles of the feet. That's why not going barefoot is a good idea. <laughs> Nelly, hello! Hey, Millie, hey. Put some duct tape on it. Really? That'll work? Is duct oh. tape the gray tape or the clear tape? Oh, God. Hi, Maria from Omen. I would like to visit Omen someday. I want to visit the Middle East and stuff like this. <laughs> King Wartsworth. <laughs> yes, Wartsworth. Okay, Wartsworth. Pop the wart. You can't pop a wart. It's like all hard skin. McBooth. McChubby. Thank you, Happy Dove. Wartsworth, yes. Yes, duct tape is the gray tape. Oh, I don't have gray tape. I have clear tape. I think I have some like some kind of solution to put on it. You cut off a wart, must see <laughs> gray. Uh. <sighs> Leave it on for a few days. Okay, I'll have to try that SUV. They're infectious. Oh no, I had one here. It's growing back. They don't go away. No, they don't go away. <laughs> you have to have a man by a dermatologist. I've had to have when 
some frozen out of my hands because I know I walked around barefoot, probably all sorts of places when I was living in foreign locations and walking around barefoot or just even here as a kid in the United States. And so I would like, I, I was saying that if you've walked in any type of like unsanitary water, that's a really good place to pick warts up from. And it is a very difficult thing to get rid of. I would not suggest you just cutting them off or doing any of those things. You have to get either a topical solution that, that literally have to burn these things away. And I've had some of them, and they've come right back up again, even after having them frozen out. So they're very, sometimes very difficult to ship. So just have fun with that, Chantel. God, now we have to see it in her videos. Great. Just take care of it. You can buy some stuff and you could try to remove it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Long before it's not scary, though. Congrats on I've been visiting for years for this day. Thank you, Melly. Yes, I know. A lot of you have been here forever. I remember all you guys. Forever and ever. <laughs> Mary, it's not... You know what? It's not, my back doesn't hurt at all. It's my freaking thigh. <sighs> Draw a face on the wart. I know. I don't even have a pen. I'm such a mess. <sighs> thigh? Your thigh hurts. What's going on inside your thigh? Because that's not where the sciatic nerve is. Sciatic nerve is coming off the back of your back and going down. And then it goes down the back of your leg. So where it gets to the back of your thigh? Interesting. Keep going. Okay, babe, I want to draw pictures of you and me next time I go live. <laughs> Ow! No, I'm not going to pop it. Oh, you can't pop a wart. I had this wart on my toe when oh. I was a teenager and I was living at home. And it was on the side of my toe and it was growing. It grew like this big and bigger and bigger. It got to be like this big and it started to look like cauliflower. And one day oh. I stubbed my toe on the door and it fell off and it was bleeding. But I was so happy that it was gone. Oh, God. <laughs> it looked like cauliflower. I was like, what the heck? What is this? Ew. Oh, that sounds like a Veruca. Do you guys remember being kids and you're t having loose teeth? That's the worst. Oh. I don't think kids should have to go through that. It's terrifying. Was that a Veruca? That sounds like a Veruca. I remember I had once got a Veruca on the bottom of my foot because I was at a swimming pool, probably not wearing my little swim socks. And I think I picked up a Veruca. Sounds like a Veruca, girl. Mm. <laughs> Kids always get stuff like that. That's why afterwards I always made sure I wore my little swimmy things. I didn't care if people laughed at me. I was like, I am not picking up stuff on my feet again because it's tell you it's the barefoot. I think I remember like the first teeth I lost were these two, the two bottom ones. Um, five hundred to remove. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we love for cauliflower. Anyway. I remember being at a park, being a dumb kid and taking a stick and just going, <laughs> you ever think of the dumb things you do when you're a kid? Like, I don't know why I found it amusing to take a stick and hit my teeth with it. And then they fell out. It was weird. Anyway. Thank you, Bailey Brock. I'm screaming. <laughs> Amelia Meep. 524 puking chat. So are your bottom teeth veneers now? Or did they fall out and grow into adult teeth? I feel like there's parts missing from the story. Continue. Of course. Sorry. We're almost done. Anyway. Almost. Mike. Hi, Mike. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Oh, really, Vanna? A chemist. A chemist? Is that what? Where? Is that like European? Like uh, where you call it a chemist, a pharmacist? I like the name chemist. Your teeth fall out of yeah, I, those dreams are terrifying. Melly, I used to be the name Sam Smelly Neckbeard. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank you, Smelly. Are you just gonna... mm. Yes, because his beard smelled like chicken stew. Ew, yes, I remember. Oh my gosh, oh, big chubby moose. Oh, that was you. Okay, <laughs> I know a lot of people. 
how could you talk about the pain, the sciatica? And then she starts waving the arms in the air. I just, I don't remember my sciatica patients ever wanting to wave their arms quite like that. I mean, they really, she goes from being in pain to not being in pain. That's why I think it's peripheral neuropathy. I had different names, eh? Chemist is pharmacy. Ah, oh. yeah, you can see the plaque here. So this is the letter it came with. Or the cardboardy letter. <laughs> and the plaque. Everyday Marion. It's like hard to see. <laughs> is that a dent? Yes. There's a dent in it. <laughs> ah! That's why the box was damaged. I guess I could complain about it. Uh, I oh, classic. Chantel has a dent on her YouTube plaque. <laughs> That's what happens when you get it from places that aren't legitimate, girl. <laughs> I saw that too when you suddenly flashed it. I was like, oh, it's got a dent. <laughs> Such quality work from YouTube. Why bother? It's going to hurt me. It's going to kill when you desert me. I don't remember who sings that. <laughs> Sometimes random songs pop in my Boulevard? I call it Boulevard. Where will I hang it? I'm going to carry it around with me wherever I sit. <laughs> hey, Nassau's playing. Uh, uh, You're going to Canada. Okay. Oh, boy. Niagara Falls. I don't know. Or go see the big sequo sequoias in British Columbia. I've never been there. Oh, you're hot. What did Celeste say? Weezer. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> you know. You're right. It is Weezer. When I printed, the egg was about to finish. <laughs> Yeah, you printed it at your business. Why well, are you drinking water water from the glassy glass like a cutie cute? Oh. Cute aggression. <sighs> oh, yeah, I have a new thing I'm going to do. Anytime that... Whenever people become the Islam police, if someone comes in here with an Islam police mess, like, a comment, like, isn't that haram? Are you supposed to... I'm going to go... Uh, Islam police alert. <laughs> Why do people want to see the back? It's just like a felt. Is it felt? It smells like a, like a new store. I, should... I think people are asking to see the back because I think there's something on the back of that plaque, like a piece of paper that says something else. I, I, I want to say so, like almost like a painting has sometimes. I, I can't. I, I I I could be just making stuff up, but there. I that's why I wonder why people keep asking to see the back. Take professional pics with it, like it's your newborn, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Glamour pics. Is that Celeste's voice? They can build a bear. <laughs> Melly, did Melly gift more members? Melly, thank you, Queen. Who got the memberships? Thank you, Melly. Aw, you're the sweetest queen. Feed the plaque. Who got the members? I didn't see. Killed my happy morning goodbye. I adopted the belly. Yeah, true. Thanks, Melly. Yeah, for the generosity as usual. Thank you. Who got the members, guys? I can't see for some freaking reason. Oh, SUP. And who else? The reason why you can't see Chantel is because you probably have diabetic retinopathy starting. <laughs> you have just ate a ton of stuff and your blood sugar is going to start raging in about an hour and a half from all that pudding. Oh my goodness, girl. Please go see an optician. Oh, Vanna. Kelly King. Lizzie, welcome to the These are some long sleeves to make you go. Okay. Sorry. Welcome, Lindsay, welcome. Please do a kind of mother photo shoot with the plaque and Salah looking at it like a pro dad. <laughs> you think we should? Ow. Howie. Howie. Why am I hyper today? Monica, you got a membership. Yes. Thank you, Melly. I say that you have these periods of mania. And you just had a period where you kind of went on a rage and now you're in the mania cycle for some reason. This is kind of how you roll. It is wild to see you when you're like this. 
I don't know if these are the moments when Salau really isn't there. And so you feel like you can let loose a little bit, even though you keep talking to him in the room. It's just very odd. <laughs> yeah, because everything's performative with you. It's the same job I have. I wear it every single day. Well, that's why I just washed it today. I wash it like, yeah, I wash it frequently enough. But I mean, I wear clothes underneath it. So it's just a cover. So it doesn't get like super dirty because I don't cook in it or I don't, I just wear it. Like I just put it on when I'm praying or if I come on live, you know, it's just a cover. And then I have clothes underneath it. So like I have jeggings on right now and full dress. So gosh, I love it. I love it. So it has a hijab. I don't have to worry about anything. I just, ta-da. <laughs> So I'm like, welcome to so love, little girl. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. <gasps> it's been eight. So Chantel, so easy to put on. Why does that not surprise us? Probably doesn't even need an iron either. But she's already upset. She needs to wash it. Girl, if you've worn it, it's been on your head, around your face, any of those things the way it is, you should probably have a few of them and be washing them daily if you like them so much. Buy three. Don't limit yourself to one, okay? So you can stay hygienic around your face. Days? Oh, that I wore this? Oh, yeah. There's going to be a counter, I guess. Well, guess what? You can keep counting because I'm going to be wearing it every single day. <laughs> I have no shame. It's clean. Who cares? Am I going to buy more colorful? No, I look weird. I'm going to look like... If I wore a colored one, it would look weird. Ready, set, be For everybody new. Yes, Vanna. Who else? Monica. Who else was gifted one? SCP. <sighs> Can we send stuff from the States? I guess you can. Yeah. I'd have to give you an address of like a post office. I don't know how it works. If you send airmail, I guess we would get it. If you send UPS. Yeah. How do you know? How do you not know how it works when you just had to tell YouTube how to send you the plaque? to supposedly it was going to be you gave an address of a post office but Salau went to an airport to meet somebody to pick up an airmail package which is I think about the wildest story I've ever heard I have never heard that you meet the courier directly there at an airport that's the wildest thing there's, there's so much missing from the story that makes no sense to anybody. Am I the only one who doesn't think the story of how any of this was mailed? Because now you're telling somebody that you need to find out how to mail stuff. And they've been watching you live stream, telling them you just received a mail package. Make it make sense, Chantel. Make it make sense. You got five minutes, or no, actually 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, well, let them judge us. I don't care. I'm a loser, baby. So, but you still watch me. <laughs> Hi, Tian Moonshine. Oh. 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 That felt good. Stretched a bit. Oh, Chantel. Let's be a physical therapist. Smash the like button. Thanks, Tian Moonshine. Oh, you gifts unboxing oh, treats. Yeah, like gifts. <laughs> they got your play button really fast. Yeah. Well, has it been like two weeks? Maybe no. When did I get the email, babe, for the play button that I could redeem it? I hit 100K, 101, 101K, and then when was it? It was after that. 6XL? Yeah, it's been really fun. Babe, when did, we, when did we do it? When did I get the email? But it took a while for them. They said, like, you could track the UPS. It said label created for a while. And then finally they said shipping. And then it was only a couple days after that we got it, even though they said it would get here on the 19th. It got here like on the 16th. So, yes. Indeed. Oh, you guys don't have to send anything. I'm sure the shipping would be very expensive, Monica. Yeah, Monica. Maybe I should make a P.O. box. I don't know. I was going to stay in Canada, but who knows when I'm going to be back there. It'll be forever. Save your money for your retirement, people. Don't send money to the scam artist. Okay? Please. Just, you know, listen to an old lady here. Save your money. Let her mom send her something if her, if her mom wants to send her a gift for her celebration. You know, you've already added enough, Monica, by watching Chantel's content and adding to her bottom line. You don't need to send this scammy, scam, scammer a gift. This is my recommendation. Let me figure it out, Monica. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't want you guys to spend a lot on shipping, you know? <laughs> 
I think within a week. Yeah. Corned beef cabbage. Yeah. For those who celebrate for sure. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> They're very mean. Yeah, indeed. Mean. If you could get the, yeah, I guess you can send UPS, but maybe by air. Please don't. Make a PO box. I'll look into it. Okay, my guys and girls. Ram Ramadan Baranak. Thank you, Superboy. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. I'm sweaty, so I must go. The pillows on my couch are chaos. Hi, I'm 60. If you ever come to London, come say hello. I will for sure. Mm. Girl. Some stretches. <laughs> he does try. He took my leg before and was going like this with it, stretching it out. It did feel good. And he does massage it, but it flares up. Like yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? Last time I was live, I didn't really feel it, you know? Deep tissue. Oh, it's the, it's the nerve. It's the nerve. It's like, it's like the nerve. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a shooting. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel like an achy muscle. It's like in your butt cheek, down your leg. That's where it starts. Yeah, I think it's a pinch nerve. I think I messed up my back on those long flights. If you're very heavy, like I don't, for even a regular person, like uh, wait, just sitting like in this position in a chair that's not that friendly on your back. Um, for that long, oh my gosh. You know what, it wouldn't be so bad if like I had a flight, you know what it is? The flights are always, because I fly with like Qatar Airways or Emirates. So I like basically what happens is the flight is the stopover. There's always one stopover. You can pay a lot less if you do two stopovers, but there's no way I could handle it. So, <laughs> but you, I stopped, like, Qatar's an hour away from here, okay? So then I have to go another 12 hours straight in the plane to Canada. And then, you know, I should have take, been taking flights where, because there are some other flights with different companies um, where they break it up. Like, they'll they'll go, like, a, you know, to Europe in between. And that would break it up with, like, six hours and eight hours or something like that. I should have done that because it would help me get up sooner than just sitting for straight 12 hours. Oh, and I'm not getting up in the aisle. No way. Have solo walk on your back. Hi, Sigmund. Thank you, Angela Mercy. I just have a little more fluff. Take your spine and shake it out like a wet towel, but we can't. Yeah, I wish. I wish, Riley. Mm. Like a wet towel. <laughs> Capone, your picture is cute. Keep listening to this. Keep listening. I know it seems like, wow, we've been listening for a long time. She's got just a few more minutes. Yes, Chantel, I think breaking up your flights would probably be a good idea. And just caution anyway, because you're at a very high risk for DBT, deep vein thrombosis. Muscle relaxer. Oh, yeah, I, I tried those. It's my, the pain, it's like it doesn't work, I don't think, because the pain. I guess if you relax your muscle, and it, it, it might affect the nerve too. But <laughs> the only thing that's like mildly helps sometimes is diclonifac or, um, yeah, that's about it. It's and even that, that's so bad for your body to take long term. <sighs> no, Dixon. Irish jig on Miriam's back. I tried hard surface, it killed me. <laughs> Smoking some good trees. <laughs> well, that's illegal here. Official diagnosis of sciatica. No. But like sciatica is one of those things, like, I mean, what else could it be? Okay, we're gonna slow her down at this point to her normal speed. And I want you to hear this. Chantel actually now says that she does not have a official diagnosis of sciatica. So what was she supposedly getting these B12 shots for? It's all been lies, people. It's all lies. I'm not saying that she doesn't have a pain, but Chantel has no idea what's going on because she doesn't receive any medical care. And we've all been saying it's a, it's been liatica, scamatica, all of these things. And she now finally admits to it at the very end of her live stream, after she's been taking money from people and talking about it, and nobody has actually diagnosed her with it, which is what I and many other creators have been saying forever. Oh, girl, I'm going to go back. All right, we're at 18.32, so I'm going to go back to right here at like 18.19, and let's hear her say it one more time. <laughs> Well, that's illegal here. Official diagnosis of sciatica. 
No. But like sciatica is one of those things like, I mean, what else could it be? You know, the nerve of some nerves. Mm hmm. Well, Chantel, it could be many different things. It could be peripheral neuropathy. It could be nerve damage due to that. It could be that you could actually be experiencing a small blood clot in your body, and that can really give terrible, terrible pain too. It could be a trapped nerve, like you said. It could be a compressed disc in your back. But because you don't actually receive medical care and you lie to your audience about going to clinics and it was pretty obvious that you were seeing nobody inside that clinic. Absolutely nobody. My medical spidey senses have been out on your selling sciatica scam for a long time. And you've now finally said an hour and 18 minutes in after talking about sciatica that you've never had an actual diagnosis of sciatica. And you are literally here diagnosing yourself, which you cannot do. Stop it. Stop it. You can't do that. It's not what is fair to your audience who's been listening to this live for months now and have been talking about their sciatica journeys. And you're just sitting here. You're doing nothing about it. You don't lose weight. You don't see a doctor. You don't see a physical therapist. You don't go into inpatient. You don't deal with your addictions. You talk about people being ableist. Because they call out, sorry, call you out for stuff. Sorry, I got tongue twisted there. <laughs> because they call you out and you then do these types of lies that are horrible to your audience. All this time, you've been telling people that you had a doctor's diagnosis. And now you're admitting you've never had any type of diagnosis. What a sham, you all, girl. All right. I'm going to finish you at your back up to 1.5 now because your normal speed is so slow. But it's nice to hear you admit that you're just a liar. You're a liar. We knew you never had sciatica. You just got some pain that you don't know what it is yet, girl, because you don't follow up proper medical care because you're too cheap. Pete said so. Carry on. Look here. There are chiropractors, yeah, okay, Kiva. I think so. There must be. What do you do? Like, how many times a day do you go to the bathroom? Like, this cat goes to the bathroom more than any cat I've ever had. Why do you poop so much? Oh, that's a Why? way. Oh, 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 what a way to divert the conversation away from your sciatica lies uh, to talking about the poor tortured cat. Freedom for Julia. Freedom for Julia. And there's, a, I think, a Freedom for Howie movement, too, going on at the moment as well. So all of your animals have got freedom movements going on, girl. You are such a liar. Can't believe you lie. You lie, girl. You're constantly having to clean your box, and then you're just dirty it again. Why? I swear. I swear. Neuropathy. Oh, yeah, I better go get checked out. <laughs> she gets it from her mama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you better get that neuropathy checked out, girl, with the unmanaged type 2 diabetes. Oh, I guess it sounds like some nonsense that I've been talking about on my channel now for months. <laughs> In fact, one of my biggest videos is my 3K hobble that I released. Uh, laughing at you hobbling around with that neuropathy and probably vitamin D deficiency. And now you finally, at the end of this hour and 20 minute torturous live stream, tell your audience that you've never received any medical care and that you have been shebang and lying this whole entire time about your leg pain and what it is. I'm not saying you don't have pain there. And then somebody tells you you have peripheral neuropathy in the audience and you just want to bat that one away because you would hate to think that you're unmanaged, uncontrolled diabetes type 2 and you sitting there eating that pudding dessert 
would be any other reason why you have pain. Now it's to do with a long flight that you took months ago, girl. It's because you're big. Continue. I have, and people are like, oh, you're not a very compassionate RN. I'm never going to be this person's RN, okay? I would dread to have Chantelle as my patient because she is so non-compliant. What? I Can fire I her. You? She's looking at me like, do you like your crunchies? Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off because I'm so tired from this pain. And I got to put this in the fridge. It gives a lot of And then go put it in the fridge. Um, oh, it does need to be refrigerated. Hmm. It's only been out for an hour and a half, girl. <laughs> Make sure I tell the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. You too, guys. <laughs> Did you just talk? Okay. I'm going to have to go back to normal speed here. And I'm sorry. This is for me more than anybody else. <laughs> well, no, obviously for the channel. But my channel. In the respect that. The reason why is that somebody says to her to, to obviously go to the doctors and she puts on not only a childish face and a childish voice. This woman is about to be 40 at the end of this month. That is her reaction to managing her health when she has horrific pain. And she made hundreds of dollars off of her super chats and super thanks and all of these things when she supposedly went bed bound with the sciatica. That's why I've called it a scam the whole entire time. And it's just, she finally, you know, and Chantel always finally, you know, has to kind of fess up to the lies because the lies just cannot continue any further because we keep pardoning on them. And her audience keeps asking about them. And now she says this. You're just a despicable human being, girl. We're going to go back because of this ridiculous little voice and face you make when they ask you about it. God, be respectful to your audience who takes the time to keep you fed and pay your bills. You know, because I'm so tired from this pain. And I got to put this in the fridge or give Salah some. <laughs> and then go put it in the fridge. Um... Mm. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure I tell the dog. Yeah. Make sure th she tells the dog. Yeah. Okay. Watch this face now. Okay. Because this, this is the face of a person who has no intention of seeking medical care unless she's like literally on the door. I guess. I have to. You two guys. <laughs> what are you doing making to me? <laughs> what are you doing making to me in your boxy box? Oh my making God. to me. <laughs> what are you doing? Making Tui. See, every time an audience member asks her about something she should be doing with her health, she diverts it back to the cat. It's wild. Absolutely wild. And then this very immature, childish, like, you know, baby voice comes out. I mean, not that we don't all do, like, you know, little cutesy voices with our pets. But this is in front of an audience, you know? And nobody needs to know if your cat's doing a dewy, girl. In your boxy box, what are you doing? <laughs> it's wild. Wild, Chantel. Wild. <laughs> Babe, <what> the... <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for making me laugh. I, I guess the wild said something funny at the end. Thank you, Melly, for the memberships. Yes, thank you so much, Queen. And uh, I will see you guys on the flip side. Wonder, wonderful Arabian night. I'll see you guys tomorrow or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold Bye. on. I got to stop this because Salal makes the most inappropriate remark. This is what he said with regards to the cat. And we're going to finish it here. Maybe just beaten. 
want to have Julia's poop as long as she put a poop emoji in most of her thumbnails. Just beaten want to have Julia's poop. Who's just beaten? I'm guessing this is a reaction channel. Oh, just beezing. Uh. Oh, really, Salal? You're going after just beezing in the chat over here? Oh, you guys are like sore for content because you are trying to get everybody riled up, I guess, with this, that comment, Salal. Hmm. All right. Live your truth. Live your truth, Salal. Live your truth. Okay. I'm taking this one off the stage. She lied way too many times in that live stream. That was the most liacious li live stream I think I've ever had to hear in my life. I think just the whole entire time, it's like, one live after the next. I'm oh, sorry, one lie after the next after the next. I was so many lies. And that the fact that she finally admits to having never seen a medical practitioner in regards to the pain in her leg is not shocking nor surprising to me. I have known the entire time that Chantel has not sought medical care because none of the things that she's spoken about have been indicative of somebody receiving medical care, especially not for sciatica. Goodness me. All right, guys, I've been doing this for almost an hour, two hours now, and I'm sure I've tripped over a couple of words along the way. I apologize. These videos, I raw react to them. And so they may not always be perfect, but it's just kind of how it happens sometimes. <laughs> so anyway, I do appreciate if you even got to the end of this. If you did, shoot, I'll take a uh, emoji of a walking, like a crutch. Put me like a crutch for somebody having a broken leg, like a broken leg crutch. <laughs> do they do crutches as emojis? <laughs> maybe you have a hard one i just don't really want poop as the emoji you can put a poop or you can put a crutch whichever one just because we talked about poop right at the end thanks to salau because he can't keep away from it of course it's his favorite topic goodness me i cannot believe that i'm this old i promise you i've talked about poop a lot as a registered nurse <laughs> anyway if you do happen to like this type of content, I would love it if you hit the likes. I love reading the comments. I try to get to them at some point and leave a response or at least a little, little sign to say that I've checked in and I've read what you've written. So I do always appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, that's even better. All right, guys, I'll touch you the next time Chantel starts lying. Don't <laughs> find me by tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.